Hello, good day. My name is Amiel Spencer, and today I'll be showing you how to create a website server using Apache HTTP server and no IP on Windows 8.1. So, first we need to download Apache server. So, you're going to go to your browser. And we're going to do a search for Apache Server. It should be your first result. What we're going to select is the download link right here. This should take us straight to the download page. And what we're going to look for here is specifically Apache 2.0.65, as you can see right here. And what we're going to select is the MSI download file with the open SSL built-in. So you're just going to select this link and it should automatically start downloading. And now, before we install Apache, we're going to go to our no IP account page. I'm going to sign in quickly. And what we're going to do, we're going to add a new host. So it should take you straight to this page. And what we're going to select is add a host. We're going to type in a host name. So it could be anything. As you can see, you have a number of options to select from. I'll leave it at the default. I'm going to leave host type at the default, DNS host A, and the IP address. The IP address you have to have here is your public IP address. So if you want to be sure what is your IP address, you can just do a search for my IP address. select the first link and this is my public IP address if we go back to no IP as you can see it's the same so it's already picked up my IP address leave everything as default and just select add host before we move on uh, we're gonna download one more thing from here we're gonna download a client for no IP. What this client does is that it keeps if it is your ISP supply with a dynamic IP address which keeps on changing after a period of time. This will be running on your computer and it will update no IP of your new IP address if it changes. So you're just gonna download this quickly. Save Right, so first we're going to install the Apache web server. So I'll click one. Next, accept the terms. Next. And here, we're going to go back to no IP. Manage host. And what are we going to do? going to copy the address that we just created for our host. Going to go back to Apache. Boxes enter information, the network domain and the server name. You're going to enter in the host address that you just created. The administrator email address. Well, that's not necessarily important, but you can put an email if you want to. I'm going to leave that just as is. And we're going to leave it at the default option for all users on port 80. Click next, typical, next, next, and install. And finish. And if you go to your taskbar, you should see the icon for Apache. And as you can see, it is currently running. 
what you're going to install next now is a new IP client you go download yes I agree and you're going to log in with your new IP information once you're logged in this window should open up what you're going to select is edit host once you have selected edit host this option window should open up and as you can see the host address that we created in our web browser and showed up here what you're going to do is you're going to select it and click save so what this does this will continue to update our host with our current IP address even as it changes from our ISP so once you're done there we're going to close this off now in order if it is you go in the browser and type in localhost as you can see this is our Apache server and it's telling us that it has successfully been installed and up and running when you type in localhost this what is allowed that any computer on the local network would be able to access your Apache server but what you're going to do now we're going to open it up for anyone on the internet to be able to access our website or web server so there's two things in my case I will have to do I will have to open up the port 80 port in my Windows 8 firewall and also open up the same set port port 80 in my router so first you're gonna go to control panel administrative tools and we're gonna select Windows firewall with advanced security this window should open up what we're going to go to is in bound rules and we're going to create a new rule once you're selecting new rule you're going to select port next we're going to leave it at TCP I'm going in for the actual port we're going to open once you have selected specific local port we're going to type in ETA Select next. We're going to leave it at allow the connection because we want people to be able to connect to our website server. Click next. We're going to leave all these selected. That's for ease. Click next. And we're going to type in. You have to put a name, but you don't necessarily have to put a description. Once you're finished, just click finish. And as you can see, our new port rule have been added and allowed. So we just open up port 80 in our Windows firewall. Now we need to go to my router. Now I, uh, I have an Asus router, so it would be different for each person according to the water that you have now what it is you're going to look for we're going to look for port forwarding now according to your router it will be different but for me I need to go to LAN 1 and virtual server or port forwarding Once you reach this option, what my router allows me to do, it already have all the different ports pre-configured, so I could just select from FEMA serverless HTTP. Once you selected HTTP, it will give you the settings by default, the service name HTTP server, the port which is port 80, 
my local IP address which is the IP address of this computer if you want to confirm the IP address of this computer all you just simply have to do is go to the control panel and type in IP config type in slash all and as you can see my IP address 192.168.4.50 we're going to leave the protocol at TCP and go to add it and apply to the router. Now that port 80 is opened up on my Windows firewall and my router, anyone on the internet would be able to access my website server or my website by simply typing in my IP address. So. and more specifically my public IP address so I'm gonna get my public IP address now if we type in our IP address into the browser my public IP address into the browser as you can see the default page of my Apache website server has come up If I also go back to no IP and I enter in the actual address of no IP of my website server, the same page should appear as you can see here. If you want to edit the files that actually shows up here, all the text and everything, if you go to my computer program files x86 gonna select Apache group Apache 2 and we're going to go into the HT docs just to test out our web server what we're gonna do I have already downloaded a website template so what I'm gonna do I'm going to delete the files within the HTT HT docs folder I'm going to go to the temp website template I have downloaded and put it in the same set folder and if I go back to my browser and go to the host page that we created it should come up with the same set template that I've put in that folder so thank you very much for watching that was a tutorial on how to create a website server using Apache HTTP server and no IP on Windows 8.1 thank you very much